Good morning, viewers. This is Mathematics with Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall discuss set theory. Kindly subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and the notification bell so that each time I upload new video, you'll be daily notified. Thank you. Set theory. How do we define the word set? A set is a collection of well-defined objects. A set is a collection of well-defined objects. There are important things for us to know about sets. Important things. Important things to know about sets. Let's look at them. Important things to know about sets. One. One of the most important things for us to know about sets is the members of a set are called elements. Members. of a set are called they are called what elements that's the, the first thing for us to know there about sets two elements of a set are written in small letter elements of a set are written in lowercase in small letters three every member of a set has similar property every member of a set has similar property that is they have what we call well-defined uh, property for a set itself a set is written in capitals we write a set in capitals okay a set is written in capital that is a set is written in capital letter why the elements of every set are written in small letters. Okay. The fifth one, curly brackets. Curly brackets. This is what we call curly brackets. Okay. Curly brackets is used is used for sets. We use curly bracket for for sets. And the sixth one here is each element. Each element. Each element of a set is written once. Is written once. We must on no account write the element of a set twice or more. Having said this, now let's look at examples of sets. Just few examples before we go further. Let's look at few examples of set. Few examples of sets. Examples of sets. Examples of sets are one. The set of all integers, the set of all uh, integers. That's an example of a set. Two, the set of all letters of the alphabet, the set of all letters, all letters of the alphabet. The set of all letters of the alphabet. And three, 
you have many of them the set of household furniture the set of household furniture so we have a host of them there are so many examples of set those are just a few ones for the sake of this uh, lecture let's just limit the examples uh, as those ones we have listed now how do we represent set we now go to what we call set representation set representation we are going to discuss three ways of representing set in this video the first way of representing set is by tabular representation what do i call it tabular representation this just implies the listing this is the listing this is simply the listing of sets and its elements or the listing of uh, elements of sets the listing of element of uh, set take for example let m represent the set of uh, mathematical instruments so we can say m is equal to i see the curly bracket set of mathematical instruments set of uh, mathematical instruments you know in the mathematical instrument here yeah, this statement is a defining property so if i want to represent it uh, uh using the tabular representation i will list out the the what the instruments that fall under that set so i will have uh, a protractor protractor I will have uh, a pair of compass, a pair of compass. I will have so many of them. I will have set square. I will have the razor, a divider, just to mention a few. I will have uh, uh, eraser, divider. Ruler, just mention a few. This is an example of uh, sets using tabular representation. Another way you can have uh, a set, let's say A, a set of uh, alphabetical letters. Alphabetical letters. So in this case, going by tabular representation, I would say A is equal to a b c d if i don't want to list all of them just put three dots one two three and the last element you write it z so i've given an example of uh, a set of uh, alphabetical letters using tabular representation okay another way of representing set is by set builder notation set builder notation what do i call it set builder notation what do we mean by set builder notation um this is stating this involves this involves stating when we state the characteristics stating the characteristics stating the characteristics this involves Stating the characteristics, the characteristics or requirements, or requirements, which are elements, which an element must satisfy, which an element must satisfy for it to belong to a set, for it to belong. For it to belong to a set. Okay, let's look at an example. Take for example a set of natural number. N. We have uh, X such that X, you know, is a natural number. Okay, and uh, X is less than 10. Alright, this is a very good example of a set representation using set builder 
notation. So in this case, let's now employ the listing of the elements of this uh, set. Don't forget, we are told that this set is defined by x such that x is a natural number and x is less than what? Is less than 10. So we are going to list all the elements that fall under natural number that are less than 10. Okay, so our hand now will be now. Before we get to the number 10, the first number that is a natural number is 1. So the next is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So this first illustration is a very good example of search builder notation. It has been used here, and we have translated it, you know, the, the first statement was made in using uh, set builder notation, while the equivalent statement, that is the listing of the elements of that uh, set, is made using uh, the first uh, uh, representation, which is called the tabular representation. Okay, the third way of representing sets, the third way of representing sets, the third way is by what we call Venn diagram. Venn uh, diagram. So this is a what? This is a diagrammatic or pictorial diagrammatic way of representing sets. Okay? Then for example, I can have uh, like in the case of the natural number we just use here, I have you know we know that n is equal to one to, to nine. So if I want to represent it uh, using the uh, Venn diagram, I will just draw. It could be a square diagram, or sorry, a rectangular diagram, or it could be the one that look like a concentric uh, circle. So I can out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So using this diagram, you have represented your set uh, uh, through vein illustration. Okay, having said this, let's now look at some terminologies in the set theory. Some terminologies in the set uh, theory. Terminologies in the set uh, theory. Terminologies. Terminologies in set uh, theory. We want to look at some terms that we use in set theory. One, we have what we call singleton set. Singleton set. What do you mean by a set being singleton? This is a set. This is a set that has only one element. A set with only one element is called what? It's called a singleton set. So, for example, if A, if A is an element, is an element of a singleton, singleton A, then, then A can be said to be a set that contains only element A. So it's written as that. Okay, that's what I mean by a singleton uh, set. That's what I mean by what? A singleton uh, set. Okay? That's what I mean by a singleton uh, set. Now we move to another one, which is the uh, equality of set. Equality of set. What do we mean by sets being equal? Okay? Two sets, X and Y. Two sets X and Y are said to be equal, are said to be equal if every element in AX is found in uh, Y and every element in uh, Y is found in uh, X. So another way of saying that is that uh, two sets X and Y are said to be equal if and only if, if and uh, only if, okay, every member, every member of x you know is is a member of uh, y and every member of y and every member of 
y is a member of uh, x. So if this happens, we said that uh, the two sets are equal. We said the two sets are equal. Are we? How we are comprehending? Okay. Now let's illustrate that. So x is equal to y. All right. Logically means logically means you know x element x in x you know um, is not equivalent to element x in uh, y and which implies you know x in x if and only if x is in uh, y okay so if that happens now say and if this is true for all uh, x for all uh, x okay for instance let's look at an example for example for instance for instance if x is an element i mean it's a set that has element one two three and uh, y is a set with element uh, one two three three remember we've been told that every element of a set must not be written more than one time so in this case x is equals to y irrespective of the the, the the number of elements you have here and here the number of elements here might this is three this might look like four but it is not four it is still three because no element of a set should be repeated twice so in this case x is equal to y because every element of uh, x is, is found in uh, y okay having said that let me say that now let's look at another terminology that third one is called subset what do i call it subset what do you mean by subset you're right let's x and y let x and y be two sets suppose x and y are two sets okay if every element if every element of x all right uh is an element is an element of y and is if every element of x is an element of y then then x is called a subset a subset of uh, y and and we write and we write okay we write uh, x to be a subset of uh, y or you can write it like this y is a superset of uh, x okay okay so how do we write that logically this logically means this logically means this logically means this logically means okay x is a subset of y implies if an element x is taken in x that implies that uh, that uh, element is equally in uh, y it's true if this is true for every x now you need to note something here note what do we need to note there one if x is a subset of y and x is not equal to the set x not equal to set y what we write we write we write x is a proper subset of y or y is a proper superset of uh, x that is that is that it is uh, if x is a subset of y but x and y are not equal sets so what we write is that uh, x is a what proper subset of y and y is a super a proper super subset i mean super set of uh, x okay two every set every set is a subset or super subset of itself a subset and a super subset super uh, sorry super set of itself so every set is a subset and a super set of itself. For let's look at an example here. We want to cite an example. 
of a subset of a set. Okay, let X be a set that contains a element 2, 4, 6. Okay, and let Y be a set that contains element uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, so in this case, in this case, uh, you see that every element of X is an element in Y. And this all the elements of X are found in Y. So in this case, X is a what? Subset of Y. Don't forget, X is a subset of Y, but X is not a proper subset of Y. Because there are still some other elements in Y that are not found in uh, X. And apart from that, X and Y are not equal sets. X and Y are not equal sets. So in that case, in that case, we now say that, in that case, we now say that, now say that since since x is not equal to y because they are not equal sets then then x is not a proper subset of y okay okay now let's look at this let's look at this as well and this is another uh, terminology empty set empty set or null set. What do we mean by empty set or null set? A set which do not have uh, or which has no a set which has no elements is called the null set or empty set. A set that doesn't have an element is called a null set. It is denoted by it is denoted by we have sign or just write the uh, two calling brackets but make sure nothing enters the bracket dot must not uh, enter it. The moment dot is there it's no longer an empty uh, set. Say for example if you mistakenly just write two calling brackets and dot enters there is no longer an empty set because that dot is an element in that set. So let's look at an example. Example of a null set one, a cow with two legs. You can't have a cow with two legs. That is uh, an empty set. Two, a set, the set of, the set of all real numbers, all real numbers, the set of all real numbers, who square, who square is uh, minus one. That's not possible. You cannot have uh, a set of uh, all real numbers, who square is minus one. So let's stop here for now. We shall continue from here in our next video. So don't forget, click the subscribe button. God bless you.